Hi everyone, so I thought I would unbox the new iPad mini. This just came out a couple of days ago. This is the iPad mini with the A17 Pro chip. I got this one with only Wi-Fi, but you could also get cellular. I got this one in space gray. Here is a little sneak peek of the color. It definitely looks like kind of silverish grayish, definitely not space black. I'm pretty sure this is the space black iPad. So we can compare the colors a little bit. I actually haven't seen any of the new iPad mini colors in real life. I also just want to say I'm definitely not like an iPad kid. I barely use my iPad. You've probably seen me unbox a couple of iPads on this channel, but I've ended up only keeping my old iPad 9th gen. This is like my best purchase ever. I got it for like $200 and for as little as I actually use my iPad, I feel like this is the only one that's actually worth it, but maybe that'll change today. I don't really have any expectations except that it's going to be portable obviously i feel like that is like the main reason you would get an ipad mini because you want to bring it with you like everywhere but okay let's start unboxing this ipad It is actually so tiny. It feels like a very wide phone. Honestly, you could actually hold it as an iPhone. It's just very wide. first impression of the color. I feel like it's a very very classic apple silver color or I guess it's gray but it kind of gives off silver. No, so it's just a very very classic apple color. I feel like that's the only way to describe it. Like this is obviously the very safe like basic option. There are also a few colored options of this iPad but honestly I just wanted to go for some people would say boring but I would say classy color. I just don't want to touch the screen. I just don't want to get any fingerprints on my screen. But yeah, the color is really pretty, like very metallic. And if we take a look at the screen, okay, I already got fingerprints on it. The screen size definitely feels very nice. But yeah, other than that, we also have the microphone inputs here and the USB-C port. It's really nice that this iPad has USB-C so we can even charge it with our iPhone or charge our iPhone with this iPad in case we're out and running out of battery on one of our devices. If we're running out of both, then that's the problem. All right guys, but before we move on, I just wanna apply a screen protector on this iPad so I don't accidentally scratch it. And I'm using the Paperlike screen protector. Thank you Paperlike for sponsoring this video. Just like the name sounds, paper like helps you write and draw on your ipad like on paper it gives you this really cool feeling like you're writing on real paper because paper like uses a microbead technology called nano dots which gives you this specific stroke resistance simulating real paper millions of people are already using the screen protector because it really makes you fall in love with writing and drawing on your ipad it's perfect for students wanting to take better notes or anyone who likes drawing since you get the comfort and precision of writing on paper but on your iPad so the Apple Pencil will vibrate a little bit to imitate the haptic feedback of a pencil on paper but of course also they're soft enough to avoid damaging the Apple Pencil tip and you still have perfect picture quality and no glare because this technology lets display light shine around and through your screen protector. I feel like as a student this is a game-changing product. I often hear students say they love taking notes on paper just because writing on paper has that special feeling that you cannot get with an iPad but as a student I'm sure you can understand writing on paper is very time-consuming but with this product you can combine both so you can efficiently take all your notes but also get that feeling of writing on paper so if you guys want to check out the paper like I will link it in the description but let's see what else is in the box we have some actually really big papers. Oh, and it just says iPad mini. 
So we don't have any stickers anymore for the iPads, which is kind of sad. We literally just have a bunch of papers and probably in different languages. And then last thing in the box is a USB-C cable. So this is the same cable we get with the iPhone as well. It's just USB-C to USB-C and that's everything in the box. So first, I just want to talk about the size of this iPad. The new iPad mini is actually the exact same size as the older iPad mini version. So it's 8.3 inches, which is actually not too far away from the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I mean, if you just look at the box, it's actually not much bigger than my iPhone 16 Pro Max. But also, I'm like, if I already have a big iPhone screen, I don't know why. I would need a small iPad as well, but we're gonna see in this video. But yeah, so not only is the size the exact same as the older iPad mini version, but the weight is also the exact same. It's 293 grams. If you get the version with only Wi-Fi, if you get the one with cellular as well, it's like four grams heavier, which is basically nothing. And if you compare that to the iPhone 16 Pro Max, this phone is 227 grams. So, I mean, I don't know if that's even gonna be noticeable but other than that we don't really have any upgrades when it comes to the screen we have liquid retina display uh, we have true tone okay, another upgrade from the previous iPad mini is that this one now starts at 128 gigabytes and the older one started at 64 gigabytes so you're gonna get more gigabyte and this one is $499 if you are in the US, for me it was like 600 or almost 700, which is a little pricey, but it's it's fine. <laughs> I mean, comparing to the iPhone, this is like honestly so affordable. And if you need even more storage, this one can now have 512 gigabyte. And the older iPad mini could only have 256 gigabyte. And the new iPad mini now supports Apple Pencil Pro and the old one only supported Apple Pencil second gen. But I don't know if that's a good thing because now you're gonna have to upgrade your Apple Pencil as well if you buy the new iPad, I guess. So here you can see all the upgrades for the new iPad. As you can see, a lot of these are the same except the new iPad now has Apple intelligence support. So right now when I'm filming this, Apple intelligence is not out yet. Um, so I'm not going to be able to even use it right now, I think. But I mean, if you are getting an Apple product in 2024, you probably do want to get an iPad that supports Apple intelligence if you feel like those features could be useful because I feel like otherwise you might feel left out once those features actually come out and you're not able to use them if you got an older iPad. And then the most obvious change maybe is this iPad now has a 17 Pro chip, which is the same chip as the iPhone 15 Pro Max used, but the previous iPad mini had a 15 chip. So that is actually a big upgrade. It's probably gonna be a lot faster. I guess more similar to an iPad Pro. One thing, however, that's a little disappointing is this one doesn't have an upgrade when it comes to battery. It actually has the same battery life as the previous model.
right guys so here it is it is so cute like oh my god i'm actually obsessed like first of all it's so lightweight it literally feels like the iphone honestly it feels lighter than the iphone even though it isn't i think it's psychological because it's obviously bigger so in my brain i just expect it to be so much heavier but it feels very very similar to the iphone weight thing i need to try is if it fits in my shoulder bag because i feel like the only reason i never bring this ipad with me anywhere is because i need a bigger bag anyways and then i'm just like okay i can just as well bring my macbook if i'm bringing a backpack with me but this is obviously so much smaller than my previous ipad this is a normal sized ipad and this is the ipad mini it's actually adorable you can kind of also see the color difference here i have to say though like i kind of prefer the design of this ipad because the corners are kind of like rounded it just gives a softer impression and it also feels much nicer holding it but with this one i don't know the edges are definitely sharper it's not bad like it doesn't feel uncomfortable but i kind of prefer the edges of this one here's a little side by side comparison honestly i expected the ipad mini to be even thinner anyways we're gonna try putting this in a shoulder bag this is my official shoulder bag test we're gonna see if the ipad mini 2024 version can fit in these bags okay so first one is this one i kind of feel like the shape of this will make it a little harder it's a lot thinner here here in the middle let's see this is with having like other stuff in my bag as well okay so i kind of went in but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to close it uh oh <laughs> wait are you kidding it literally fit in my shoulder bag kind of scared i'm gonna get scratches on it though from like zipping my shoulder bag and if i put a case on it i don't think it's gonna fit in here but okay let's try the second bag this is my second go shoe bag yeah this would probably be my like going out for a fancy dinner bag i mean i don't know why i would need to bring an ipad but if i feel like bringing my ipad <laughs> Okay, that definitely works. Like, I feel like the design of this bag makes it a lot easier. Okay, that's perfect. Imagine just sitting at a cafe or a restaurant and then you like pull up your little mini iPad. Like, how iconic. Okay, anyways, the third bag. This is kind of a reach. I can already see this is gonna be too small. Um, I don't use this bag too much anyways, but it kind of almost fit actually but i'm like a hundred percent sure i'm not gonna be able to close it okay so it worked for two out of three bags so if you're having like a normal sized shoulder bag this ipad is gonna fit but okay that's really good to know okay so i feel like that is the first like main reason why you would maybe want to get an ipad mini the second i can already think of is probably when you're just at home and you want to chill in the sofa or just in bed having this ipad feels so convenient because you can literally hold it like an iphone and you can't really do that with a normal sized ipad like this is just very uncomfortable at least for me and especially because this is a lot heavier i wouldn't really hold this ipad like this but with this one it's just so easy like you could use it as a reading pad the only thing i'm wondering is if the screen is actually big enough because we obviously have an 8.3 inch screen but we also have these like pretty wide black borders around the actual display i was looking for the volume button and i literally didn't realize that it's on the upper side here i feel like the audio is good like it's very clear and crisp but you can feel the whole back of the iPad like vibrating when you have a video playing. I mean, you can obviously not see it, but it feels so weird like having your hand on the back of it like it's a speaker. I don't know if I like that, but I guess you could just get a case. Okay, wait, I'm gonna try calling on this iPad. I feel like this is so portable, so this would be perfect for taking FaceTime calls. And this iPad also has a center stage, so it's gonna like move with you. Guys, I actually love FaceTiming on this. I just finished a call and it's so much better than FaceTiming on your phone. Like, it's a whole other thing. I feel like if I were living like in another country or just far away from family and friends, this would be such a good investment because FaceTiming on your phone is just not the same thing. And I feel like I actually prefer FaceTiming on this than the regular sized ipad because you get it just like the perfect screen size it's not too big but it's also a bit bigger than the phone 
and it's so easy to like move around this and just put it up like anywhere honestly with this ipad i feel like phil in modern family okay let's also try the camera i feel like this is a must for every apple product even though the camera might not be the main use for the ipad i mean i feel like if you have an iphone or just a smartphone you're probably gonna use that for taking pictures instead of your ipad at least with this ipad you do have a pretty great camera like the focus is really nice well okay i would say it's okay quality it's not the best definitely not as good as an iphone camera obviously i feel like that's not really what you're expecting from an ipad and also with this ipad you can't zoom in you only have the one time zoom this is the video let's see we can do hd we can actually do 4k on this ipad okay we can do 60 frames per second that's fine that's really good but now that the iphone 16 pro max has 120 frames per second this really isn't anything special okay but overall this was a really good first impression i can't believe i have never been looking into getting an ipad mini because i usually go for the pro max models for my phone so i just assume it's like the same thing for the ipad but no in this case like i'm definitely a much bigger fan of the small screen but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye